We're streaming, right? Yeah, we're streaming. Oh, that is a really professional-looking overlay, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, we got this made by, uh, his name not on here, KML. Not sure who that is. He's a really big streamer in the region. He does this tournament, he does uh, Extra Credit, which is on Sundays, he does Mega Drive on Mondays, uh, he does a whole lot of streaming. I see. That's pretty cool. Not Squid Plumber, Squid Gaming. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love how the first match is against, is what, Kimono versus Squid Gaming, and that, those are two things that are a little strange. <laughs> you know the first one, you know the first one. Anyways. I mean, okay. Yeah. So I guess, are you like a normal commentator? No, normally I just run the stream, but I can commentate. So let's go. We got uh, how much heckling can you do in the chat? Just don't throw out any slurs. You can heckle all you want. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it doesn't get us banned. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have to say, Kazia versus K. Rool sounds like. Okay, wait, can I say No, this yeah, one? go ahead, go ahead, that's All fine. Right. Kazuya versus, versus K. Rool sounds like shit for K. Rool. <laughs> like, not gonna lie, I mean, considering that all of his, all of his projectiles are super reactable, like, if, if, like, you aren't gonna be seeing him using any of them unless he's on stage, you know? Like, or of course that ledge trap setup over there, that's a very useful way to use one of, one of us. I mean, pretty interesting. But yeah, you're probably not gonna see him use that much, except for... Yeah. Crown could actually be good because Crown has massive armor, so yeah. even mean, if the Kazuya gets through it with like a crouch dash or something, he might not eat a, Actually, he could just eat a down throw. Yeah. But, um, I mean, question is, like, does EWGF go through? Ooh. Oh, shit. Good awareness. Yeah, that, that's very good. Yeah, so as we see, the K roll has a lead, uh, despite us saying that the K roll is going to have a really hard time. So uh, That's what this good gaming does. He just, like. Yeah. He throws projectiles, and then when you least expect it, he throws out a random like kill option, like a dash attack or a, a down smash. I think he killed. Or he took stock one of the down smash. I mean, as you can see, there's like K roll, um, K roll back throw sent to the terrible. Oh shoot! He also does that a lot. <laughs> I can see that his. There's actually really good considering it's strong enough to be a kill option off stage, but it's weak enough to come to convert into stuff like up smash, up air, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. while, while spikes like instant, instant uh, dare tend to be much more, you know, tend to be much stronger, so you can't really get as many combos off of it. K roll dare is really good, especially because it's like frame 14 or something. Yeah, yeah, something I've seen Squid Gaming do a lot in the past was uh, weak hit in air, which sends them like what, just barely off stage, and they just run off dare. And if they don't press a button, which a lot of people don't, because they're like, you know, they're right next to the ledge. Yeah, you wouldn't really expect it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, that's honestly one of the interesting strategies, like, you know, like Mario F throw fair, it should never work, but for some reason it does. And it has happened to me a couple oh, of times. Oh, we got a combo going? Oh, but oh. you didn't extend on the platform. Yeah, unfortunately, you probably messed up the first tech there. Yep. Yeah, that's what it looked like. I see the, um, the K-Roll is mixing up his DI very well. Because um, it's very hard for um, Kimono to get a Nair, actually. To get a Nair to continue the EWGF combo. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to hard, being hard to get a Nair on a K roll, you know, that big body. <laughs> uh, Regardless again, of the drops, though, he's got K roll at 120, 130. Oh. This could be death. Yep, that's it. Yeah, as you can see, once K roll gets his little blunder, there's not really any coming out. I mean, really sucks for him, I guess. Yeah, and as you can see, the, the patient use of crown, making sure not to use it in, in a, or making you sure to use it in a very deliberate fashion to catch him when he's far enough away to where he can't react with a reflector, but close enough to where he can take advantage of that super armor like you just saw there. He actually went through the EWGF, which I just learned today that there's enough armor for that. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. On, almost looked like option. almost looked like K Rool shot a laser out of his head, which is <laughs> like that's funny. Ooh, the missed wow, rage drive costing him a lot. I don't know how that didn't kill Spark. I don't know what way he was supposed to die that. Ooh, big oh, big damn. I see. Yeah, the K Rool. If he gets the right, if he gets the right moment to, oh, okay. to make you explode, he definitely will. With stuff like Nair and disadvantage, like that really helps him out a lot. Yeah. Although he can't do it right now. Well, he's dead, but his yeah. armor was almost cracked and broken. Yeah. As you can see, going for the setup there. Oh, missed the dare. Um, and now, oh, 
Dang, if, he, if he'd act, since he had the percent lead, he might have been able to drag uh, Kimono off the edge and get a stock. Yeah, although... Or, oh, wait, oh, I see. I, I forgot that uh, Kimono has the stock lead. I thought he did for a second. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Yeah, I mean, regardless, K. Rool probably recovered from that. Yeah, K. Rool's recovery is pretty funny. Yeah, this is a really bad spot for Squid Gaming, but he yeah. got stage control. Let's see how he uses it. Even percents, nice. uh, not even stocks. But now we might see the comeback. K. Roll does have that down smash. I mean, it does kill like crazy. Oh, oh. got the iframe. Perfect timing on that anti air. Yeah, perfectly got out the fair and then punished him for it, honestly. 